Hello guys, welcome back once again. In this video, we're going to have a look at C++ CMake project inside the Visual Studio 2022. You look at how we can create a C++ CMake application using Visual Studio 2022 and the help of co um, GitHub Copilot. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also, make sure if you don't have Visual Studio installed, make sure you go to the official website and download it. So let's go, let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio open. But to, to get started, let's, if you already have the Visual Studio, let's go ahead and open the installer, click on the modifier, and make sure, let's make sure we've got all the components installed. So here, once we get into the workloads here, yeah, let's have a look. Let's click on the um, desktop development with C++. So as you can see here now, we've got CMake inside here. So this is to help you build a modern C++ applications for Windows using tools of your choices. Yeah, so once we select this page, as you can see, I've already got it uh, installed, so there's no need for that. But obviously, if you don't, if you haven't, make sure you do. And make sure you select this bit here, so C++, CMake Tools, Windows, yeah? So this will actually install all the components needed for us to create a CMake applications, okay? So once we are done with that bit here, yeah, let's go ahead and create a new project. So let's close that installer and open our Visual Studio. Once we open our Visual Studio, let's go ahead and click on the Create a New Project. So here, as you can see on the language side, I've selected C++. So let's go ahead and select the CMake project. Yeah, so this will actually help you build more than cross-platform C++ applications. That don't depend on the .sln or the .solution or the Visual Studio project, okay? So let's select this here and click on the next. So here, obviously, we can give our project a name and select the solution location and whatnot yet, yeah, but we're not going to look too much into that. But obviously, if you want to configure to your own preference, you can do, you can go ahead and do so, okay? So here, let's go ahead and create a project. So we've got our project created for us now. So as you can see on the left side here, I've actually put the GitHub Copilot chart here, and I've, I've put the solution on the left side as well. So let's explore it very quickly. So the out will actually uh, contain the, the, the project outputs, yeah? And then the CMake project 2 or whatever, this will actually contain our C, I mean our, our code. So as you can see here now, we've got a CMake project 2.c++ and then the header. Okay, so let's click on the C++ and see. So as you can see here now, we've got a very simple code that displays um Hello, CMake. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and make some, some changes using our Git, GitHub um, Copilot. Yeah. So here, okay, what we would do is create a very simple um, calculator. Yeah. So to do so, let's go inside, inside our um, chat, our Copilot chat here, yeah, and start. Okay. So create, let's type in this command create. Uh, CPP CMake Calculator Calculator App in this. So let's select um, our file. Yep, we're using the, the hashtag to select our file. One second, it's not showing. So basically, it's not showing. So I'm just going to have a look at why it's not showing. So, so or we can just type it ourselves. So let's go ahead and type it. So it's a C make. Project. Two. Dot CPP. Yeah. So let's look at the command. So here. Um, create CPP C make calculator app in this inside this file okay 
So that's what we are trying to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in enter and let's see if something comes up. So as we can see here now, we've got um, a response. So let's look at the response. So here is a simple calculator application implemented in your cmake.cpp file. So it supports basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look. So as you can see here, we've got everything created for us. So let's select the, the um, CMake project CPP and then scroll down. So let's click on the review or preview, sorry. So once we accept it here, so we've got the, we've got this code added to our our um, um, our file cmake project .cpp, okay so let's have a look at it so here we've got a bunch of declarations here so the first bit is a display menu and then obviously we've got the addition the subtraction multiplication and the division so here we've got our main method which actually welcomes to the calculator uh, or calculation app so basically uh, we've got this menu which prompts us to add some some certain things okay so as we can see here now is it's very straightforward so as you can see we're using a switch and we're using a switch case situation here okay so basically so if case one is an addition or basically we add our two num I mean we put our two numbers inside this parameter and obviously the, the operation is actually done. So let's scroll down. So as you can see here now, yeah, we've got the methods for addition. Obviously, that's a plus b and whatnot. Yeah. So as we can see here now, it's not very difficult. So basically, we can actually run it by clicking on this bit here, or, or clicking on the F5. So let's have a look at what actually comes out. So. As we can see here now, obviously we've got the main, we've got the application running. It's asking us to choose, make a choice. So one for addition, two for subtraction, three for multiplication, and one now. So let's select three. So it's asking us to enter our first number and then the second number. So as we can see here now, we've got our result to be 20. And obviously we can also go ahead and continue to do it over and over again. So, so as we can see here now, it's not very difficult to get yourself started. And with the help of this GitHub Copilot, yeah, what you can do is just be the referee or, you know what I mean, like the moderator. And obviously this AI can do a lot for you, you know, but obviously you got to always check your code because obviously sometimes you get something wrong. Yeah, so I'll leave this video here for now. And obviously you can go ahead and expand your knowledge on the C++ CMake. Obviously, you can also ask the GitHub Copilot to obviously expand this um, calculator application, okay, to add more functionalities and whatnot, yeah? So I'll leave this video here for now since I don't want to complicate you too much, yeah? But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.